Folks, it's September 17th, 2023. I'm on the campus of Norwich Free Academy in Norwich, Connecticut. I'm going to take a walk around the campus and get some video footage. If I can, uh, if I don't get kicked out by security, the last time I was here, I was taking photographs and uh, I wasn't thrown off grounds, but uh, I was asked to make it brief and then leave. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. It's Sunday. There's nobody around. I'm the only one around that I can see, but. Directly in front of me is uh, the Sidney E. Frank Center for Visual and Performing Arts Building. I think I'll take a walk first around the football field. And there's a beautiful track. There's a shot of the NFA logo right there. This is an incredibly beautiful campus. It's like an Ivy League school, it really is. Slater Memorial Museum is on the grounds. All right, what is, this is some kind of a, probably a snacks or maybe they serve snacks or something out of there during football games. I don't know, I haven't been to a game in a while. Here's a good look at the track. Now this is not open to the public because uh, I don't know, it's artificial turf, beautifully maintained property. The Bradlaw building is uh, down there. straight ahead, that big brick building, it says Bradlaw on it. These are the beautiful, looks like aluminum stands for the football fans to sit. They have, you know, special seating right there. If you can see that, uh, those red seats. Best seat in the house if you can get it. It's a little breezy today. Hopefully this uh, audio is okay. Let me get the, I'm gonna go up to the top of this, uh, these aluminum stands and get a shot, get a real wide shot of that uh, campus. Let me do a slow pan with this camera. That big tower there in the center is uh, Slater Memorial Museum. If you went to NFA back in the old days, a lot of changes. Let's work our way down here. And try to walk around the campus without getting thrown out. Let's see what happens. Everything is brand new. I mean, right down to the garbage cans. This beautiful new fencing. I mean, it's, this is just, this is high-end, high-level material used on this, uh, on this property. Everything is Absolute exquisite quality. The lighting, I mean, get a load of those lights. Okay, for, for night games, I mean, 
These guys spared no expense. Let's get another look at that field. I wish I could get down there. I can't. I'm going to point directly down to that. Uh, that's artificial turf, and that track is some kind of real gritty, rubbery material. The guys running around the running around the track, you get real real good grip. So you don't slip and fall. It's not like the old days, I'll tell you. Gravel or whatever they used. It's not even wood. I'm walking down a staircase. It's com made out of composite material. Even the, even this chain link fence is top of the line, brand new. Let's get another look. Different angle. A wide sweeping angle of the NFA football field. There it is, goal posts. It's another field over here, the guys. Uh, the football players, uh, they do some training back here. Among other things, I mean, these uh, these guys do shot put, javelin. They have a comprehensive uh, athletic program at uh, NFA. I believe those houses over there, are, that's, uh, that's Carroll Avenue. Look at that scoreboard right there. Let me get out of the sun. That's kind of backlit. I hope you can see it. It's Incredible. It's like a professional football team would have something like that. Here's another shot, wide shot of the uh, different angle on that, that football field and track. I did not go to NFA. I do not know the names of all the buildings. All right, what is this sign? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Public use of North Free Academy athletic facilities is prohibited. So that's... Uh, they don't want the general public down here potentially, you know, destroying the track. Here's the shot put ring right there. NFA. You can see the outline of that ground as far as the distances that the uh, guys are throwing that shot put. You want to drink a water when you're at the at the NFA uh, campus? That's where you go, right there. Cranston building is that uh, beautiful building dead center right there. That is a stunning work of architecture, I'll tell you. That's one thing about NFA. They don't mess around with, uh, with the architecture in these buildings. It's like, it reminds me, some of these buildings remind me of Yale in New Haven, Connecticut. I mean, look at those doors. Go right up to the Cranston building. Look at those doors right there. Look at that window. I don't know when this thing was built. I don't see a placard on it or anything indicating that, but, uh, you know, copper gutters and everything. It's just an incredible building. This, this is a basketball court in that building right there. Let's get another view of this field. That's where we were a moment ago, those bleachers over there. A 
No standing. All right. Basketball court to my right inside that building and to my left is the field. Haven't been thrown out by security yet. That's a good sign. Yeah, let me try to get all angles of this building right here. This, uh, if I went in there, there's a, as I said, a big basketball court. This is behind Slater Memorial Museum. I'm going to take a relatively quick run around grounds here. If I, uh, if I did every square inch of this place, it would take forever. But I'll do a general, general sweep so you can get a decent look if you. You know, if you don't live around here anymore, you're kind of wondering what does NFA look like these days. Well, I'm giving it to you. There's another different angle on that beautiful football field and a gorgeous track. Let's go up to the front of Bradlaw Building. Right there, there's the uh, entrance to Bradlaw. It's a shot of Slater off in the distance. I love Slater Museum. It's uh, it's probably my favorite building in Norwich. The architectural vibe that thing gives off. It's stunning. There's another entrance or exit or whatever it is to the Bradlaw building. There's another enormous building at NFA, old structure. I'll catch the name of it when I get in the front over there. I don't, uh, it was apparently it was built in 1915. If that, uh, If that right there is to to be believed, this building was constructed in 1915. Joseph Perkins Road is over here. I'm going to get you a look at this, uh, what used to be the NFA Fire Department. Now it's a residence right across the street there. That uh, used to be the fire department for NFA. One, I think it was one truck. That's Joseph Perkins Road. Okay, this is the Terrell Building. Terrell Building Cafeteria. Let me get a shot of the side shot of this Bradlaw. There we go. And there's a side entrance to the Terrell Building Cafeteria. Park Congregational Church in the distance over there. All right, as we turn the corner here, you can see Slater Memorial Museum again in the, in the background, that gorgeous tower. All right, here's the front of, let me get over here. I'm gonna have to get some wider shots. I'll go up. This is that Terrell building. This is the, the uh, main entrance of the Terrell building. Right there. Uh, level this thing up. Okay, let's see here. I'm 
another shot of that tower. They got a brand new roof they put up on this uh, Slater Memorial Museum. See that roof up there? I don't, I don't know if we can make out the details. Kind of a wide angle lens I got here, but that's uh, that's brand new. I mean, when I say new, I mean it was put on like less than a year ago that job was completed. All right, we're between Terrell and Slater right now, pointing toward the field. Look at the incredible architecture of this place. I mean, this thing is off the charts ridiculous as far as your, your beauty factor is concerned. Entrance, one of the entrances to it's not the main entrance, but it is one of the entrances to Slater Museum. A welcome center down here in Norwich Free Academy. This would probably be the main entrance right here, I would think, to Slater Memorial Museum, right there. President Bill Clinton, as president, during his presidency, once gave a speech out of that building. I was lucky enough to attend that. It was a pretty exciting time for Norwich. Anyways, there's that, uh, I mean, some of that architecture, some of the detail work. There it is. Right under that tower. There's all kind of plaques and memorials and you can freeze the video and read these if you're interested. These are all over the place. I can't go over all of them, but I'll just give you a taste of what's uh, what those are right in front of Slater Museum. This thing says Alumni Gymnasium, Atrium, Slater Auditorium, Slater Museum. So that section right there, let me back up a little bit, is kind of one of the newer sections. It connects Slater with uh, the Norton Gymnasium. Let me get you another look at that tower. I hope this camera does it justice because that's something to see. If you're ever in the area, especially on a Sunday where it's real quiet, there's nobody around, I highly recommend taking a walk around NFA. There's another incredible building. Right there. Norton Gymnasium. It says Norton Memorial Building right up top. There's the entrance. There's another clock tower up there. Another beautiful, in my opinion, architectural marvel. This is an absolute gem, one of the, the pride and joys of the city of Norwich, uh, the state of Connecticut for that matter. This is the Cranston building. More beautiful doors. Let me sweep over here for a second. These are cherry trees, I believe. When these are uh, in bloom all over NFA, it's absolutely incredible. Let's get another look up this angle here of the, in my opinion, stunning Cranston building. 
There's the doors. Let me get back. Those beautiful wooden, heavy wooden doors right there. So there's a plaque up here. This building was built in 1933. There's a plaque if you want to freeze the frame and read that. It's interesting. 1933, the year that the, as far as I know, the Cranston building was constructed. I'm going to get some more views of that thing. I'm sorry. It's, uh, that's an amazing. I'm walking through, again, cherry trees or, you know, it's obviously, uh, they're not in bloom right now. It's, uh, it's September, but there's an incredible fountain out here. It's really, really nice. It's not going right now. It's not on. It was on the other day. There was some kind of an event up here. On a Sunday, they wouldn't have it. They wouldn't have it on, but you know, you get Slater in the background, you get, you get your fountain, you get the Cranston building. I mean, that's, that's a beautiful shot right there. There it is. That absolutely gorgeous Dr. Charles H. Osgood Fountain. That's the name of that thing. I just, man, what a campus. Look at that. Okay, let's weave our way down the road here, across the uh, across the campus, across the road. There is uh, I mean that's Broadway and Crescent Street, two streets. It's Chelsea Parade over there, right over there. There's people setting up for something out there. I don't know what it is, but uh, that's what they used to have the Rose Arts Festival. Stevie Ray Vaughan played there. I mean, they had some of the greats, Bobby Vinton, Tony Orlando and Dawn, the Four Tops. Um, just blood, sweat and tears, you know, Charlie, Daniel, I, I could go on forever. There's some real legendary performers at the Rose Arts Festival back in the day, I'll tell you. This is called, this is another beautiful building. Alice House administration, so some kind of an administration building. More beautiful doors, old wooden doors. I don't know when it was built. I don't see a sign or a plaque or anything, but again, more incredible architecture. Now, this is one of the newer buildings right directly in front of me. Take a shot up there. This building right here is one of the newer buildings, but it blends in nicely with, look at the size, pardon me for a second, look at the size of that tree. I don't know if you can, can get a accurate feel for it, but it's absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. But again, this, uh, newer building. It blends in architecturally well with the other ones. There's a garden over here, the Swatsburg Garden, given by Harry, let's see, Selma Silverman, Swatsburg, 1936, uh, Selma Silverman, 9th class of 34. Welcome to all, come sit and enjoy the beauty of this garden. I don't know the name of this new building. I don't see a name on it, but again, it's connected to this older, older building right here. Let me get a shot of this thing. This is another beautiful. Architectural uh, work of art. All right, what does it say? There's a sign, the Ross, the Rose M. Driscoll Portico. 
See if you can get a look at that. There's another beautiful doorway with incredible lighting and beautiful windows and nice table and chairs out there. You can sit out there and have your lunch, I think. All right, let's take a little walk over here for a second so I can get a wider shot of this building. Actually, I might do the whole length of the campus, but it's kind of a wider. There's a wider shot of that building right there, the campus of NFA. The NFA uh, Wildcats logo right up there. You can see uh, that looks like an administration building over there as well. That's been there for many years. It's an old, I don't know, 1920s. I have no idea when that was built, but let me take a quick walk over there. For you folks that went to NFA many, many years ago, I'm sure this was here, this building. There's a good look at it. Right there. I'm guessing it's some kind of, you know, office building or, okay, there's a side shot of that. See, the old building is in the, in the front, and the new one is connected to the back, and it does blend. It's, it's architecturally matching. It's not identical, but it's very close. The, the spirit of the architecture is, is there. They did it right. And there's some traffic going down... Uh, parallel to Chelsea Parade in the distance. A little campus safety building over here. During the games you'd probably have to check in or stop and you know whatever. And they would tell you what to park or whatever to you know what the game what time of the game or you know whatever information they have. Looks like a giant telescope or something over there at that, uh, off in the distance part of that building. Here's the back of that new, newer construction. Okay, there's a sign on the back of this building. Let's take a look at it. What does it say? Information center. Um, Latham's, let's see, Latham Science and Information Center. So this is the back of that new building. Right there. All right, here's Shattuck Building. We don't want to leave out Shattuck Building. Let me back up a little bit. I want to get some different angles here. There's Latham again. I just want to get that tower in there. New construction, as I said, Latham Science and Information Center right there. Okay, there's the back of Alice House. Administration, NFA Medical Center, so Here's uh, kind of a nice place if you want to take a break during the day. There's a beautiful little park here with benches and, I don't know, picnic tables. Let's take a walk around this way. Sign over here, admissions, alumni gymnasium. It's a sign that tells you the location of a bunch of different buildings and 
arrows pointing towards those buildings. More cherry trees as we head down towards the Shattuck building. Shattuck is a more modern construction, you can say. Don't know the year it was built. Maybe it'll say up here on this plaque. Dedicated to the devoted support. This is a big long thing, I'm not gonna read it, but that's the Shattuck building right there. And we're gonna head back out onto the, you know what I should do? Yeah, let me do a, I'm gonna go, try to go back out to the road. If I can work my way out to the street, I can do kind of a, kind of a wide shot of the campus. I think that's probably worth doing. if I can get through this fence without having to go too far. Let's take a little stroll. There's that medical center right there. That's just that section of this beautiful building right here. There's either a lot of crickets or some kind of very loud noise-making insects or something around here this time of year. Where will you go? All right, yeah, they are. Those guys are out there working it on a construction project at Chelsea Parade. There's something going on, whatever. I don't know, I, you know. The specifics of it, I don't know, but it's unusual to see somebody out there doing, constructing something like that. All right, I'm just gonna take a short stroll. To the end of the campus. There's a nice Civil War Memorial Monument out there. The wind has died down, that's, that's a break. Sometimes it gets too windy, it really uh, degrades the audio quality. We don't wanna, we don't wanna lose that. Sounds like an alarm going off somewhere. All right, there's that, there's a wide shot of that older building. I'll do, I'll just try to do some sweep, sweeping panoramics if I can. There's no reason I can't. As we walk up and down the length of this uh, stunning, gorgeous NFA. If you go to NFA, if you ever went to NFA, it's just such an incredible privilege to see a school in your little town like Norwich and uh, have the ability to go there and study. It's really fantastic. All right, there's that Alice house right there. Big sign out there says Knowledge Free Academy Learning Industry Art. Red sign. All right, here's another. I'm trying to get some different vantage points here. Cranston Building, that fountain we talked about. Cherry trees all over the place. Beautiful trees. All these trees are. Uh, healthy and they're all unusual they're not your conventional maple trees and this and I mean there are a few maples but 
I don't even know the, what this type of tree is right here. It's beautiful and extremely healthy. Everything's well maintained, well cared for. another shot of this Cranston right there. We'll center this thing up right there. Beautiful. Nice fence. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Cranston building. Park Congregational Church off in the distance. different angle looking through those cherry trees again when it blooms in the spring don't miss it if you're in the area all right here's a good wide shot this is why I'm doing this for for a better view there's uh, Slater Memorial Museum a tower An incredible tower. Another look at that stunning church. Back in the day, boy, when they built something, they built it. All right, here's a look at Norton Gymnasium. I'm gonna tilt this camera up a little bit to catch everything. To the right we got Slater, in the center we got Norton Gymnasium, and to the left we have the Cranston Building. Right, Let's see if I can get them all in there, right there. Really nice. Slater Memorial Museum now open. That sign right there. It was closed for a while due to the construction of that new roof. There is a gigantic tree stump. I'll stand on that stump and get another shot of Slater. We'll pan over to Norton and Cranston building. There it is. We'll keep walking down Crescent Street. Let's take a look at Park Congregational from the back. There's the Terrell building and the, and the nice flag. Flag is flying at half staff. I'm guessing that's for the victims of 9-11. You know, the memorial it was uh, only a few days ago. And we got another shot of that Cranston building. And we'll sweep down to Slater Museum and over. Look at this beautiful fencing they have. I mean, again, NFA is in my opinion, the equivalent of a Ivy League school, a small Ivy League school. Only difference is it's a high school 
And if you live in Norwich, you get to go there. Norwich also has Norwich Tech, Norwich Regional Vocational Technical School. It's just up the road from here, and if you want to earn a, you know, living in, in the trades, like electrical, sheet metal, carpentry, automotive, you know, a variety of different uh, skills they teach them there. At Norwich Tech. So if you live in Norwich, you're covered. If you want to be a tradesman, you go to Norwich Tech. If you want to, you know, study the other, you know, the fine arts and different... Let me get another shot of this side of this building. I just can't pass it up. I love this thing. But if you want to study, you know, general studies and... I'm going too quickly with this pan. Let me do, do this real slow. There it is. Slater Memorial Museum. All right, this building down at the end here, okay. That's the Converse building. Admissions, and there's a campus store in there apparently. That's another old building. It's been there a long time. Let's take a look. That's the entrance. You go up top there and it says Converse Art Gallery. So at some point that must have been an art gallery building. And let's see, let's Terrell building. We'll do a shot behind it right there. That's the Terrell building. Little Wildcats. Um, Campus Express vehicle over there. Let's get another shot of this NFA. That, that, that font right there, it's kind of a famous NFA font right there. Okay, we're, uh, we're working our way back over to the Bradlaugh building. So we, uh, we did a pretty good I wouldn't say comprehensive, but I would say, you know, efficient look at most of the important buildings, if not all the important buildings, on the grounds of Norwich Free Academy, including, I'd say, fairly comprehensive view of that football field. Let's get another view. We haven't done this view with a field. Beautiful gardens and everything these uh, folks have. All right, there's another, there's our final view of that. We'll I'll do a real slow sweep of everything, of the track. All right, real slow pan. Hold this thing as steady as humanly possible. There's the football field, and we're going to hit that Slater again. One more look. All right, not bad. Bradlaw Building, what is this? Sydney E. Frank Center for Visual and Performing Arts Ensemble Room. There's a sign up here. Right there. So that's interesting. Well, folks, 
All right, let's get one last. I have an opening over here. Let's get, uh, before we shut this thing down, let's get one last view of this uh, off the charts beautiful. Look at that, look at that track right there. Look at that thing. Well, I'll get real close, look how gritty it is. That really, that really prevents anybody from slipping when they're breaking, you know, the, the school record or whatever. But that's, that's another angle, it's our final angle. As we work our way over to this, uh, this big parking lot. I don't know if you guys, back in the old days, I'm not sure if this parking lot was here or not. A lot of kids go to NFA, drive their own cars here. I mean, obviously they take buses too, but... Yep, Sydney Frank Visual Performing Arts Center right there. We get one view from down off of uh, Joseph Perkins, if I can, just down the, down the road. And maybe I'll shut it down at that point if we can do that. I'm on dead center of Joseph Perkins. This is the back of that Brad, uh, of that uh, performing arts building and the Bradlaw building down there. Let me get a shot of this. Uh, by the way, Reynolds Road, if I take a left there, up the hill, take a right and it's McKinley Avenue extension. There's a shot of NFA, the official logo. This is the east entrance. Let me get closer. Right there. Lock in on that thing. And that little building right there, campus safety building when you drive in you probably have to check in uh, not on a Sunday folks we're done with our walk around the campus of NFA hopefully we covered a decent amount of territory I think we did okay one last shot at it Incredible campus. Thanks for joining me, folks.